Welcome to the Gino Washington Show. I'm your host, Gino Washington. I'd like to say hello to all my fans all the way across the world. I decided to come back to perform and also decided to put a lot of my programming here on YouTube because for the last 30 years, I've been sitting on all these tapes. And I want to thank you for supporting my music. And I'm on my way back, hopefully, with your support. Me and Jeff Williams in Atlantic, we recorded many songs. And we're coming back with our music because that's what you requested. And I want to thank you for making my songs collectors. That makes me feel good. And also, I want to thank Mr. Bruce Springsteen, who sung one of my records in 1989. And two years ago, John Fogarty said I was one of his favorite artists. But right now, we're going to show another classic uh, interview with Patti LaBelle. This is Patti LaBelle when she broke away from LaBelle and went on her own. And at the time, everyone came to Detroit, wanted to do the Geno Washington show. So here's another classic interview in 1977 with Patti LaBelle after she broke away from her group LaBelle and she went on her own. So let's watch that interview right now. We got a big, big surprise here today. Patti LaBelle, former member of LaBelle, is in the house tonight. And I want to thank her for coming in and, and to be a part of the Gino Watch Show, as well as John Bradley. Johnny Bradley, give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Make him feel good. Good job. Yeah. How you doing? He's <laughs> <laughs> a star. Patti, uh, thank you very much. I got to get a kiss on the cheek anyway, okay. if I can reach. Um, you have to start putting some. <laughs> Big lips on or something. Oh, right. <laughs> so we can come across. I want to thank you very much for stopping in and to do the show. Thank you. And I know you're here in, in town to promote your new fantastic album. I'm promoting um, my Columbia, product. <laughs> uh, by yourself. You know, yes. And how does it feel now being by yourself after working with the group? Like? Well, well, it feels lonely, but I'm secure. Mm -hmm. I feel that I can uh, satisfy you, mm -hmm. uh, my fans and friends, as mm -hmm. much as I did when, when my two friends were with me. Mm -hmm. You were LaBelle, what, 16 years? 16 years, yes. And uh, I know you recorded a lot of fantastic uh, records and albums. And uh, do you feel that uh, the television media, like I've seen on a lot of the rock shows on television, had a lot to do with the success of Pat LaBelle? I think uh, the radio, television, doing interviews, going to one stops, going to record shops, mm -hmm. all that had something mm -hmm. to do with our success. You know, you're a very real uh, personality because I know a lot of entertainers of your, of your status, you know, they don't want to be on shows, they want to hibernate. Why? I don't know, some of them are on Sickies. the ego, e ego trip, you know. <laughs> well, I think they're sick. But, uh, you, you I don't mind, you know, I'm, I'm my best PR, mm -hmm. and if I don't show any interest in my product mm -hmm. I mean who else will mm -hmm. and if I don't do interviews who will know about me who will read about me they mm -hmm. they'll say well Patty LaBelle she's gone I mean she's no more mm -hmm. and I might be tired because I'm tired now mm -hmm. <laughs> but I know that this is something that I have to do and something that I want to do mm -hmm. and if I fall asleep out here at least I'll, you could say well she was here before she went to sleep mm -hmm. and she was trying to sell her product and she was mm -hmm. I mean I like doing it I really do I love it and if I don't get any calls for interviews or to do TV shows or to do radio shows, I start crying sometimes and wondering why. I said, God, won't somebody call me and ask me to do something? <laughs> or even for autographs. When people don't ask me for autographs, mm -hmm. I'll ask them if they want them. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of people are afraid to come up. They'll say, I think that's Patty LaBelle. And I hear them whispering, and they won't come up because they've been turned off by so many people in show business mm -hmm. that they're afraid to ask you. I'll give you mine if yeah. you ask, and if you don't ask, I'll give it to you sometimes. Mm -hmm. well, that's beautiful. That, that just, proves that, you, that no, you're very real. No, it's just that I treat people the way I would like to be treated, mm -hmm. and I don't think that I'm any better than anyone. Mm -hmm. And, yet and I don't think anyone else is any better yeah. than me. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> that's what I always say in life. You know, I don't care how much money a person has. It has nothing They're to do no with better it. than me, and I'm no better than them. No. And well, if you, if you cut me, I'm going to bleed the same color blood you're going to bleed. That's right. <laughs> we always say. This is a real lady, folks, I must say. This is sure. it. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Bradley, a fantastic uh, promoter of motion pictures as well as entertainment. He represents Roy Ayers, Al Greens, Eddie Kendrick, Stevie Wonder, and Ronnie Dyson. How you doing? All right. Let me send them on vacation. On vacation, really. Mm -hmm. But you had a pleasure of working with her during the promotion in the last concert a year ago at uh, at Pontiac Stadium. Sure. Last and, July 4th. And uh, there's a story 
how real this lady is and we'd like for you to tell it about just how real her whole performance is basically uh -huh. Patty is just fantastic and I'm not saying that because I'm sitting next to her because I'm, I'm just as real to tell the truth <laughs> she's a friend anyway but um, LaBelle was on the show with uh, War Rufus and uh, Ohio Players mm -hmm. and something very I had the first time of having a manager confront me in terms of contracts and where his act was going to perform mm -hmm. during the show lineup and I, I really didn't think it made much of a difference and uh, but the managers who represented Rufus were very particular about following LaBelle mm -hmm. and I thought there were there basically were two female acts back mm -hmm. to back and I said well maybe we'll kind of move it around and of course I got with Patty's manager Vicky Wickham and Vicky says well I don't really think Patty makes it not much of a difference to her and uh, I said, well, if Patty doesn't mind, then she'll go on first and whatever. Patty says, well, Patty doesn't care. Patty will open up the show. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter. It make any difference where she's going to be on. And of course, when she opened it up, she closed it too. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. it was great. I just, I just, you know, a lot of, you know, not saying this about Rufus or Chaka Khan because I love, I love Chaka mm -hmm. Khan. Mm -hmm. I do dearly, and I, I don't have anything about competition or me trying to outdo anybody mm -hmm. or thinking that I'm better. I'm just going to do what I can do best and that's sing. Mm -hmm. And if, if I have to open the show or if I have to sell popcorn before I go on, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I really don't care as long as I get to sing. I, I just, that those hang-ups, I think uh, they've messed up a lot of entertainers of wanting to close the show. Mm -hmm. And when they closed that show, I mean, somebody before them could have really burned it up and made it hard for them to follow. Right, and then when they right. came back to that city, those folks mm -hmm. didn't want to see them because, right. I mean, it was just something too hard to follow. I don't care mm -hmm. well, where of, I go. Some of the, the performers, you know, they feel that uh, they made Sorry. it, they don't owe the public uh, thanks, you know. A lot of them have hang-ups like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the public makes you. And the public makes you and they can break you. You better believe it. And I don't. I, I mean, I, there's nothing that I wouldn't do mm -hmm. to yeah. uh, help sell myself mm -hmm. or extend myself to the public. And when they appreciate me, it makes me feel really good. Mm -hmm. When they well, ask me for autographs or anything, same, huh? it makes me feel really good. Well, I like to say that she has a new album out. And what's the name, the title of the album? Patti LaBelle. Patti LaBelle, and it's on Columbia Records. And it's her doing her thing all by her sweet self. <laughs> and John, I want to thank you for coming yeah, on the I show. thank you too, Jim. And he's thank based you. in Detroit, and it's uh, Jenny Bradley Associates. Associates right. Right. But listen, before we leave, okay, I'm going to cut in and tell everybody to please come see Patti at Ford okay. Auditorium. Okay. 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 October 14th. October 14th. It's a Friday night. <laughs> okay, okay, October 14th. I'm not and a publicist, I, but I'm promoting it. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a really cute show. It's going to be a good show. So you come on <laughs> out the 14th and see. And bring your tambourines. And bring your tambourines. Tambourine because she's going to send you back to and church. And you don't have to wear nothing special. Just come in the apron. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. Anything. I want to thank you both for <laughs> coming you for on the show. Me. And thank the you. Patty, thank you very much. And okay. uh, Johnny, thank you. Thank you.